Congressman Duncan Hunter once thought to be a lock for re-election, now in a battle for his political life. Our new Scientific 10 News Union Tribune poll shows Hunter leading Democrat Amar Kampanajar by three points with the election a week away. 10 News reporter John Horn explains how the race got so close so fast. Congressman Duncan Hunter in a fight to keep his seat in the House of Representatives. But the race has gotten tighter. One big reason, Hunter indicted on 60 federal counts. Uh, because I'm a Democrat. Lynn Osborne knew he'd vote for Democrat Amar Camp in a jar long before Republican Congressman Duncan Hunter's legal troubles. In August, Hunter and his wife Margaret pleaded not guilty to spending $250,000 in campaign contributions on lavish vacations, fancy dinners, and living expenses then falsifying spending reports. Nobody sent his wife a dime. They always sent it to him. He's responsible for that money. There's no excuse for it. Despite his indictment, Hunter still leads Amar Camp in a jar in the race for the 50th. But look how much tighter the race has gotten since August, right after the indictment came out. And to use a horse racing term, uh, Amar is uh, on the inside coming up fast. Political analyst John Dadian says Camp in a Jar's campaign has been hammering Hunter over his legal troubles in ads. The campaign received about $1.4 million in contributions in the most recent quarter. But Dadian says it may not be enough to sway voters in the conservative-leaning 50th district, which covers most of Northeast County. They're thinking if after the election in the next two years, if something happens to Duncan Hunter where he has to leave a seat, it'll be a special election and then it'll go to Republican. Multiple Hunter supporters declined to go on camera, but they said they align with him on the issues, noted he's innocent until proven guilty, and pointed to past positive experiences with him. John Horn, 10 News. The poll was accurate to plus or minus 4.8 percent. In meantime, Registrar of Voters Michael Vu says already 266,000 mail-in ballots have been received countywide. So stay with 10 News and ABC News for the most comprehensive coverage on election night.